I mean, Garoppolo has handled it maybe better than you ever could have imagined. And he kind of intimated that early on, you know, he was thinking, gosh, just get me out of here, trade me. And then it's like, no, you know, heck with that. I want to beat this guy out. I want to. I want to win football games. And one of the things he kind of threw in there when he talked to us is, you know, that you know that's what I do. You know, I, I win football games, and I was like, yeah, you're right. That is exactly what you do. Um, you know, in listening to the conversation he had with you guys a couple of days ago, you know, he's upbeat. I, I think he's just handling it in a way where it's basically, you know, he's he's going. I don't have to say going out of his way, but he's making it impossible for there to be a divide in the locker room. You know, he's he's basically saying, I'm, you know, Trey, I'm I'm on your side. Let's work together through this. And in, in doing so, I think he gives himself even more credibility in the locker room because you know, he he's he's stepping up, he's being a leader, he's He's saying he's putting the team ahead of himself. And at the same time, I think he's empowering Trey Lance by making sure that him, you know, the most important guy on the team, Jimmy Garoppolo, is behind Trey Lance. So there's no reason for George Kittle and Trent Williams and Alex Mack and Mike McGlinchey and Mostert and, and Samuel and Ayuk. And I mean, there's no reason for everybody else to fall in line and kind of be the same way. So I, I think he's handling it in a remarkably professional, gracious, and kind manner.